Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that you have a lot of power in knowing what you can and cannot control. Oftentimes, we can get caught up in uh, many different modes, many different emotions, as I usually say, ideas, beliefs, perspectives. It's within our power to choose which perspective we're going to hold on to in any given moment. There can be certain things that happen in our life that are truly outside of our control, which is most things. But what we can control is how we re how we respond to them. If we react, then we're simply letting our emotions run wild. Take a moment, breathe, and think about what you can control. You control how you take information, how you take news. You don't always have to agree with news. And this is not just news as far as mass media. This is news from anybody or anything. You don't have to absorb it as being true and respond to it, or I should say react to it in a way that validates whatever you've received in. No, you can respond differently. You can hear many things or see many things that you do not necessarily agree with and choose to acknowledge that, okay, that has come into your reality, but you don't have to let it change your reality. The same thing goes for ideas, people, anything. You control how that information is used on your journey. There can be people, there are people who agree with something that is completely opposite to what you identify as being as far as a person and your beliefs and how you see the world. That's okay. The world is not here to be exactly as we are. No, there are going to be things that we simply do not agree with. That is okay. The difference is when we operate within our power, we know that anything that is uh, the opposite or anything that brings in or anyone that brings in a certain kind of resistance to us, we don't have to accept it. It's none of our business because our business is about how we maneuver through our life, through our journey, through our reality, through our own inner world. That is the power. That is what's most important for us as individuals. Because when we operate in that kind of space, not only do things have a tendency to not bother you as much, but you really develop a certain kind of peace within yourself. You develop a higher level of understanding. You do not let other people's issues or problems become your own. Because it's so easy in this world to blame our problems on the outside world. It's not. It's only our problem because we own the problem. Now, if we have done something or we believe something that allows an issue or a person or a place to be a problem, we can change something within us. That may be getting out of that place. That may be distancing or removing that relationship. That may be changing the way we view something as far as our perspective. It's not about right or wrong because in each individual's perspective, they are right. It's about understanding how your perspective plays a part in what you see in this world. And I am of the belief, this is strictly me. I am of the belief that my perspective is my responsibility. I don't have to take on anyone else's. I do that by choice. That's my power. You have the same power. You do not have to go along with the masses. You do not have to go along with anybody or anything unless you choose to. And when we begin to use that lens or use the power of that lens and hone it how we want to, you truthfully become unbothered. Now, not perfectly. 
still going to be things that creep on in there and that's okay. But this reminder is to let you know that you have the power. If you're going through your day and there are things that upset you and bother you, you're choosing to allow it to get too close to you. Why do you allow that? If it's people or the environment, why allow them to get to you? Keep it moving. Sometimes that does mean physically removing yourself, or other times that means distance yourself mentally. Protect your heart space. Be in a place to where you are comfortable within yourself. Because the more comfortable you are within yourself, the less outside forces can really penetrate your fortress. So protect yourself. Protect your peace. Know the power in having control and know the power that you have and recognize what you do not control. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.